Everybody in my head like balls, I'm just trying to fan them out. I wanna get so rich that I could pull a phantom out. Maybe a race, uh, maybe a lamb truck. Uh, and rock the new YouTube, we back with another video. Appreciate y'all for tuning in with your boys. Go in, Jay. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Terry for the video, man. Today we got Kodak artist Wham Spinner Bean and Blaine Rock Die, man. And <clears throat> it's crazy, you know, because we all know how Wiz went out. Um, I don't really want to talk about it too crazy like that because it was a messed up situation, no cap. Uh, we finna see what was said, you know what I'm saying? What's right way, the reason behind it. I don't know. That's why we're here to find out, you see what I'm saying? So, like I said, man, shout out to Tap for the footage, man. Make sure y'all go tap in with him as well. They're gonna get into it. Before we even get to this video, I ask that y'all hit that like button because my channel is Shadow Band and we trying to get Unshadow Band, so I really appreciate it. Anyways, y'all ain't gonna waste no time. I'm gonna get straight into the video. So we talking about Kodak Black artist Wham Spinner Ben. So Wham Spinner Ben and his cousin Wiz the Wizard, they were real close with Kodak Black and they even signed to him, you know, but at one point, you know, they had a falling out. But Wham Spinner Ben ended up getting cool with Kodak Black again after his cousin Wiz the Wizard death, man. And basically, man, you know, where I'm spending being is blaming <clears throat> all of this, you know. How y'all, before we even continue, how y'all personally feel about his cousin passing away? Not saying, uh, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? These are speculations to me, you see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna sit here and talk about this stuff like I know what happened. I wasn't there. But how y'all feel about them saying Sniper Gang had something to do with the beheading? And and the death of uh, uh bruh and Spinner Ben got cool, cool with you know the camp that supposedly did it. How y'all feel about that, you know? <clears throat> Honestly, if it were me, I wouldn't want no dealings with a camp I feel like was responsible for my family members passing. You know, like at the end of the day, if somebody wrong, they wrong, you know what I'm saying? Like if it could be worked out, it could be worked out, and you know, the whole city, like, this is what I'm saying, like, the streets get so weird, dog. like, I don't put nothing past nobody, facts, like, I'm not putting nothing past nobody, bro. but like, how y'all feel about that? I feel like it is crazy that, you know, I know, like, you feel like you deserve to make it out of the situation that you've been in, because you've been popping it, you know what I'm saying, you got an opportunity, and, you know, you took that chance. But, like, seeing how it happened with your cousin, though. Could, like, really kind of show what happened to you. Because what did bro do to go through something like that and die like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just me, though. On raw wave, man, because apparently, before Wiz the Wizard was killed, he was supposed to go on tour with Ride Wave, but Ride Wave canceled it. And when I'm spending being still heard about this because he went on Instagram and said Ride Wave or Real B took Wiz off his tour last minute. If he wouldn't have did that, Wiz <clears> would <throat> still be alive. I don't All right, look, I hate to keep pausing, but I feel like whatever happened, happened. Like, even if he would have went on tour and they was trying to get at him like how they did, I feel like... <clears throat> Even if he would have got off a tour and they got this series, they would have did it then. I might be wrong. You see what I'm saying? Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I feel like if they took it that far, they still would have did it. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know. I mean, they speaking on something they know about, like in the streets around their area and, and stuff like that that's going on in Florida. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you can't you can't blame like. Can't blame Rod right Wade for that. Just because he missed the tour, like yeah, he would have, he would have been on tour and stuff like that. But what about when he get back? He still got to deal with real life problems, and those real life problems led up to the death. You see what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I don't got no respect for Fat Boy, as y'all can see, man. Wham spinner being is super hurt about Rod Wave taking his cousin Wiz the Wizard off this tour because he supposed to be on the road getting that bag with Rod Wave, but instead, man, 
you know, he was in the trenches, man. And sadly, he lost his life. But at the same time, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to say it like this, man. You know, but that type of lifestyle that he was living eventually, man, you know, he was going to be hanging out there anyway, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Rod Wave, that is crazy how he counseled it. Ain't no reason. Ain't no telling why he took dude out for the tour or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know Rod Wave really be out the way, man. But you know what I'm saying? That he is crazy. R.I.P. Wiz the Wizard, man. Sadly, he couldn't take out with the music all the way before he was sadly murdered. But yeah, guys, how y'all feel about this, man? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> how y'all feel about when I'm spending being trying to blame Rod Wade for all of this, man? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more news, man. Y'all hit that like button, most importantly, because my channel is Shadow Band, and I appreciate every last one of y'all that smashed that like button, man, so we can get Unshadow Band. And yeah, guys, until the next video, I'll catch y'all. I'm out. Yeah, like I said, man, I don't know. Like, that's what I be saying. Like, stay away from the street. Like, I feel like as soon as you jump in, you just gave yourself, gave yourself an inspiration date off rip. Like, you know, coming from living that type of way, you know what I'm saying? And, and folks who don't live that type of way could relate. When I say, like, sometimes, bro, it got to be a change. Like, at one point in time, you feel like this something you got to do. Look at the situation, the situation you in and then after all it all that's been done has been said and done you can't take that stuff back so when you get ready to want to change your life up and there's still folks out here want to be hot-headed and not want to take that same route i mean he came from then to some you think he finna mess that up for somebody who want to be hot-headed that might be in the same predicament you know, in a way, but they not in the same bracket mentally. And Rod Wade probably just felt like Burke can't be around because he on certain stuff that that could mess up his emotions. You know what I'm saying? Like when you ask somebody in a situation that you done created for yourself, be cautious because you never know. And now we see what happens. So. Yeah, man, how y'all feel about that? Let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to him for the video, man. We're going to keep applying some pressure until we get there. You see what I'm saying? Let's bust these pipes together, man. It's your boy. Go in, Jay. And this going to be upload one of I don't even know. But tap in with you guys.